check the mic and make sure it sound right boys hello guys welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is phil so in today's video we are doing chicken biryani biryani is one of my best rice dish i can literally have this almost every day so this biryani is packed with tender chicken the rice is fluffy and the biryani tastes just perfect you guys are going to love love this So in this video, I'm taking you on a step by step on how to get the perfect biryani. So let's get started. So for our first step, we are going to marinate the chicken. Remember to get the whole written recipe on the description box down below. So I've added oil, I've added yogurt, and here I'm also adding spices. You're also going to add crushed garlic and ginger. We are going to mix this well until everything is nicely incorporated. It sound right, boys. So once you're done mixing, cover the bowl with a clear paper or a kitchen towel and then place it in the fridge for at least an hour or overnight. So for our next step, we are going to fry the onions. Fried onions doubles the flavor in a biryani. It tastes so good and so perfect. So here I've just added oil in my pan and then I've added nicely sliced onions. I'm going to fry this for about 4 minutes or until they are nicely golden brown. Remember to cook this while turning and don't burn your onions or else you'll make your biryani taste bitter. So once you're done frying the onions, you're going to drain them from the oil, place on a kitchen towel to remove excess oil. Our onions are ready, you'll put this aside as you do our next step. So for our next step, we are going to prepare the rice. So here I have a pot of boiling water. To that, I've added spices and I've also added rice. Here I'm using basmati rice. Make sure to use basmati rice because it gives out the best results in a biryani. We will boil the rice for about 4 minutes. You're not going to cook it all through. So this is a very important step. Remember not to cook your rice until it's mushy. You'll just need to cook until it's about 80% done. So once you're done, you're going to drain it from the boiling water and put in a bowl as we go to our next step. The chicken has been marinating for two hours now. As you can see, it looks good and all the juices have accumulated. So what you're going to do next, you're going to transfer everything to a cooking pot. Remember, if you're watching this video for the first time and you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so that you don't miss any of my quick and amazing recipes. So just click the red button or the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I post new videos. So next you're going to cook the chicken, put it over medium heat and then you're going to cover it. You're going to let it cook for about 10 minutes. And the chicken is ready at this point. As you can see, it looks so good. And let me tell you the smell from this, it smells so amazing. The house is packed with aromatic smell, wow. Finally, let's do the layering. So you will turn your heat to low. So here I'm adding fried onions, followed by freshly chopped coriander leaves, and then you add the rice on top of that. Next, to get that biryani color, I'm adding food color. So here I've just mixed water and a yellow food color. You can use saffron if you have. I also added melted butter on top, which I forgot to fill in. So remember not to skip that step. So here I'm just covering it with aluminum foil paper and then covering it with a lid. I'm going to let this steam over low heat for about 20 minutes. And let me tell you, our biryani is ready. It has cooked so well. The rice looks so fluffy. And let me tell you, the chicken is tender. Just finish with a sprinkle of freshly coriander leaves and serve. This is one dish you and your family will enjoy and you'll get to love and you'll get to be cooking every time because as you can see, it's so easy, it's so quick. So I usually serve mine with some boiled eggs and some more fried onions and let me tell you, you will love it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and for more of my amazing recipes, you can find me on Instagram at Phil's underscore kitchen or on Facebook at Phil's kitchen. So till my next video, bye!